to flats, I'm going with B. But I loot, they want me to cage, don't want me love the work. I'm mashing the jealousy that was your dance from young, been coming up poverty. I knew I'd make it out one day. Kiss and ride. Hey, yo. Italian public transport is confusing when you don't speak Italian. But thanks to Google Maps, we're able to get to our four-star hotel. Look at these totally four-star surroundings. You can tell we're in for a great trip. Before I could even record our hotel room, tourist tax. I had to pay 30 euro before I even got to look at my hotel room because tourist tax. This is just the beginning, lads. Here's my hotel room, though. Come in here. This is our room. We have a bidet. A bidet? Is that what you mean? A bidet. <laughs> This is the shower. Ooh. It's actually decent, you know? Hell yeah. Go in here, a little safe. A couple of drinks here. And then, ooh. This is cool. Ooh. This is vibey. And then a little TV here. I don't know if you can cast to it or not. I was not able to connect my phone to this TV. This was the same case scenario in Luton as well. Normalize casted hotel TVs. The Plaza Hotel has them. Why can't every hotel have them? That's a cool chair. Oh my God. We have a balcony. How do you open the door? I can't function. Toya. Toya. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Jeez. This is actually pretty cool, you know. After checking out the hotel room, me and Toya went out to try find the closest shop or place to eat. We took the GPS to go to co-op, but co-op is looking a bit closed. But just like, this place is open. They said it was closed on Google. Pharmacy vending machine, bro. What? I'm starving, bro. I don't care about pregnancy tests. Closed yet again. This is getting annoying. Toya had a theory that Monday is like a Sunday here. Today is Monday and everything is closed. So I think that's how it works. Kinda, but not really. I found out that some shops in Italy like to open early and then have like a big afternoon break. So we were just in that break period in the middle and we were hungry, which is the worst thing to be during that break period. Look at this, guys. It's not an advertisement for a shop. It's so annoying when you see advertisements for shops, but all the shops are closed. But then we see people with bags. So obviously they're going somewhere we don't know. Checkpoint. Boss man shop. Boss man had a fine array of snacks, but it didn't quite hit the spot. And then we found the bad boy. Look at this, guys. It's not an advertisement for a shop. Wait, change the color. Now zoom in. I think, I think that's the bad boy. This is what we need. We just had to walk about 50 years to get there. This is the business. This is the business. This is what we were searching for. An actual supermarket. We're going to get some stuff. Look at this. We spent 53 quid. Me and Toya are going to do a haul. Superstore. minute walk away. 40 minutes. Deep how mad it is that the closest superstore to our hotel was 40 minutes away. What a well-placed hotel. There were some decent cars to look at on the walk home, but still 40 minutes. We are back with the supplies. 17,000 steps. We done 17,000 steps. How many hours was it? Two and a half. Two and a half hours just to get a couple of supplies. I'm so tired. I have to carry that. It has like two liters. Well, two, four, two, four, two. I can't even talk. <laughs> Another pet. Body scrubber. Haribo. Got this. <laughs> Wow. Cheesy Pringles. Chocolate brownie. Female body scrubber. Moisturizer. So Toya doesn't have ashy skin. Shower gel. Check my TikTok to see me try both of these. Toothpaste. Toya has smelly bread, so it's a must. <laughs> Fruit a lot. White chocolate, like yourself. It's not Lynx Africa, but it's Axe Africa. It's close enough to the family, you know what I mean? You want to know what else was close to me? The hotel, lounge, bar, and restaurant. So that's where we went to next. I've been looking out to the city. Wanna run my day, that's it. The seats are looking pretty empty. I wonder why there's not more people eating here. 12 euro spaghetti. That can't hurt anyone. Did the tourist tax tax the amount of portions of my food, bro? Look at this plate, bro. 12 quid for this, bro. This is tiny. This looks like a college student could not. Nah, a college student could have cooked something better than this. 12 quid for this. You are taking the fucking piss. My girlfriend Toya couldn't even finish her food, bro. She had to hand that to me because it tasted ass, bro. 330 milliliters of Coke. A beggar man. 4 euro for the smallest cup. 4 euro each. I get tourist tax just for being here and now i'm getting tourist tax for sitting down here bro man has to pay the comperto fee two euro each bro so me and toya got charged two euro each for the table linen tableware and bread it's funny that they mentioned giving you bread because they're actually taking bread away from you by charging you this much for bullshit let me get some alcohol to ease the pain 12 euro for oh bro take a look at this with me this is crazy 15 quid for a captain morgan take the piss at least i got the lady to open the door for us so 
me and Ty are just here while everyone else is inside. Okay, guys, let's play a game. I guess how much the bill was. <laughs> how much do you think the bill was? 40. It was 42 for all that. The patat frito was just a bowl of chips. Ty got that. That's mental. That is horrible. 42 quid. That's a robbery. I could make a whole video about this place. The vibe in there is awkward. The service is ass. They all just stand there in a corner, just waiting to be spawned in. I have to raise my hand, just be like, hey guys, can I get this? Hey guys, can I get this? And they stand beside like a fucking fridge. That's where they stand at. Like, there's probably one of them to the right blinders on the fridge because it's so bright i wouldn't recommend this <laughs> i just tried out the bidet it felt good it felt kind of good and i told toya and uh, like i'm not sure if that's a bit homosexual or not I'm not against gay people but just it felt kind of good i'm not gonna lie i don't know what that says about me i don't know what that says about me i know what we, what we can do tonight <laughs> Hey, yo, pause. I ain't doing none of that. <laughs> I just put my ass there and I just let it hold on. Like, POV, you're my ass. <laughs> That's what happened. Like, we probably should have got air fresheners at the superstore as well. To be honest, the shower is pretty good and the balcony is cool. Lights in the bed are cool as well. I think we're gonna chill out, relax, have some snacks, and I will see you tomorrow. Rise and shine. Ladies, with gentle hands. Day two is already going off to a terrible start. Toya has discovered ants in our four star hotel they're on the floor on the towel we left the towel here there's one in particular he's doing 360s <laughs> four star hotel and then also going over to that superstore i saw tampons there and toya's close to her period and i was like hey get these just in case they're cheap she was like no i'm like four or five days away i don't need them and then she wakes up today after discovering ants doing dances on our floor and then she's like oh Tommy, guess what? I'm on my period. I got my period early. So now I have to trek over to where I saw the pharmacy vending machine. And hopefully the bed isn't red by the time I come back. I'm just, cry now. No, just don't. Just, I don't know. That's where the vending machine was that I took a video of. This is the pharmacy. I went in there and I got tampons and then I got an equivalent to Panadol because they don't have Panadol in Italy. It doesn't exist. So they gave me like an equivalent to it. So now I'm going to speed back to Toya. So not only is there ants, but they may be munching the fucking board as well, baby. <laughs> Remember when I said this place was open, but it was actually closed? Well, we went back there today when it was opened and here's what it's like. They gave us like an Italian menu. I have a translate app on my phone and I use the translate app to take a picture of the menu so i could see what it meant in english and then after doing that for about five seven minutes the girl comes over and she's like oh we'll give you english menus so now toya has the english menu I'm gonna see what to get i want to try pizza while i'm here so i'm probably gonna get the four seasons pizza artichoke olives mushrooms ham i'm just gonna try that the waiter brought over bread and cheese boat were banging so i don't mind the comperto fee this time around toya's penne arabiata looked banging we got apple juice even though it looked like orange juice <laughs> the four seasons four different types of stuff one annoying thing is that they don't have the pizza cut for you you have to cut it yourself which is something i was clearly struggling with <laughs> my opinion on the pizza is that it was unique in taste because i normally don't get those toppings but it was not bad like the way they make pizzas in this place is very good toya has just got the bill and i'm very annoyed not because of the bill of hair but just because of the bill at the hotel the price here for a big pizza and a hefty full arabata are you full after that 25 euro this really taught me that's all about where you go for food you really can get good food and good service at a cheaper price my pizza was only eight euro what an amazing place what an amazing place it's absolutely packed in there literally every seat in there was filled we're gonna go over to central now so so here's how we got to central milan even though our hotel is right beside a railway station walking 14 minutes to the comasina metro station was actually faster because once you're actually on the metro it's only 11 stops and to complete those 18 stops is around like 11 minutes long and then you're at the dumo metro station which is central milan and this is the center of milan holy shit <laughs> big ass buildings and shit damn this is lit <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Look at this, man. There's hella birds. <laughs> Even the birds wanna come to <laughs> Cathedral. Yo, bro. What's good? Bro's just stepping. Yo, boss is the bird man. Bro's got all the gals. Hey, yo, boss man's after giving me some stuff to throw at them. This is crazy. They're all flocking. Yo. Is cool. I paid boss man two quid for that, but it was worth it. He was just kind of standing there. He was waiting for me to give him money. That was actually really fun. <laughs> but they're still stepping. Like they literally just walk with the people. It's actually really cool. Yo, this place is so photo-esque and it's so busy. And now we're just gonna walk to H&M so Toya can get some stuff. I'm liking the vibe of this a lot. I just gotta be careful. I don't want my shit to get pickpocketed. <laughs>
can't stop taking videos. It's just so beautiful. I just want to keep whipping my phone out. Can't tell me this ain't beautiful, man. Can't tell me this ain't fire. All the things I can't afford, you know, Rolex, Gucci, you know the vibe. Louis Vuitton, DBU. Hey, back boys, gonna go cop some B22s. Chocolate Italiani, I think, gelato. And this is pretty cool, by the way. But just this caught my eye here. The caramella, espresso, salted butter, caramel gelato, brownie crumble, whipped cream. Oh. So, Toya, which one are you feeling? I have no idea. They had these little machines, the contactless pay and all. Like, this was just a nice little spot. What I ordered definitely looked better in a glass cup than it did in a plastic cup. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, this still tasted really good. I just wish there was a bigger size. Pause. So, here's Toya's room. Looks a lot cooler. Also, a lot of armed guards here. I meant in central Milan. I wasn't talking about the ice cream place. <laughs> like, they have Glocks on their side. They have, like, full-on machine guns, like, strapped onto them. It's crazy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Do not want to mess with the police over here. It's mad. Dry mark. <laughs> the security, I guess, like, Primark is so cheap, obviously, that people may try to take it. So they literally have guards waiting for you <laughs> when you go in or out to check you. GameStop and Tala got closed, so close enough. Apparently, this Five Guys was open, but this is the emptiest I've seen an open place. Maybe they're on that long ass break I was telling you about earlier. Some shop, and they have like Pringles pizza flavor, Oreo popcorn, bro. Like, this is crazy. They have so many stuff. It's pretty cool, though. This should kill the ants in a toilet. So let's go back to the hotel. I've been looking out to the city. On the road, my day that's extra. Got a sold out show, pay extra. No day on the way, one of Feels like I'm in Ireland again. It's fucking raining. I feel Irish again, boys. Hope the boys. That was a pretty dry day, if I do say so myself. Yeah, that was so dry. <laughs> yeah. First things first, it's time to kill those bugs. Gonna get alive on camera. I take my bug killing very serious. You see how serious I am? Just have to wait for Madame to finish in toilet. Come on. It's the bug killer. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I see one. I see one move. Good job done. We freshen up the crime scene. Crime scene? Wow. I may have just spent 58 euro on McDonald's. Italian McDonald's though. I'm gonna show you what it has. On my TikTok, the video's out now. It's only my third day out here, huh? Damn. It is day three, which is basically our final full day. Because tomorrow we have to check out and then go to the airport and go back home. So gonna try do a couple more things today. Go back into Central, see what's up with that. I'm ready to go. I'll show you what I got on. I just have on the tracksuit that Toya got me for Christmas. Montrex tracksuit. Gonna just clean up the hotel room a little bit. Dip out of here and see what the day has to offer. Metro! Central Milan was a lot busier today, even though it may not look like it. Me and Toya are in like the food area of Central. There's food pizza here, there's social pizza here, there's a meat grill thing here, and there's also a pizzeria over here. We're gonna try to decide where to eat. <laughs> we chose social pizza. This was 24 euro. This was 12 euro. It's like the more money you spend in Italy, the less food you get. I enjoyed eating this, but just the portion was small as hell. Toya's pizza was absolutely banging, but it was half the price of my food. Maybe it's my fault for ordering pasta at a place called Social Pizza. Moving on, me and Toya went to this Apro place that TikTok gasses up. It's very vibey when you first walk in here. The team of the place is like orange, black, blue, white. You can start to see why it has its hype on TikTok because it definitely has the views inside and outside. It really does catch your eye but looks can be deceiving 20 quid though for aperols is crazy yeah that's nuts oh this is it this is the hype the aperol spritz i would have liked that straw but this is complimentary this came free that's ass oh it's not nice that shit is fucking trash i now understand why it's free but that didn't stop me from finishing this drink and finishing the complimentaries because there's no way i paid 20 fucking quid for a drink just to not finish it so as i ask for the bill immediately after and then i get out of here i then ask myself what the fuck do we do next and then we agreed on lake como but when you look up lake como on google maps it tries to take you to the middle of lake como which would involve a ferry and a two hour and 20 minute journey in total so me and toya decided to go to the beginning of lake como instead of the middle because that only takes an hour as opposed 
close to two hours and 20 minutes and we don't have to get on a ferry so to do that we had to go back on the metro and go a few stops back over to central fs because that's where the railway station is this is honestly like the most beautiful railway station i've ever seen you want to know what's not beautiful though buying tickets for said railway station me and toya decided to do it by ourselves on the machine bad idea it was complicated to find your starting point and even more complicated to find out the name of the place you actually wanted to go to and then once you finally buy your ticket you also have to validate the ticket after which is just a whole other complicated thing that i can't even explain to you because i still don't get it so if you're a tourist and you ever want to use the railway in milan just go up to the reception you'll save yourself some time and a headache and they'll validate your freshly bought tickets just like they did for us our train wasn't for like another 40 minutes so we just decided to check out the outside of the railway station which again was also very beautiful i feel like it's sick just taking in like every building and every little detail because you're not in your usual country you know <laughs> This shit really beautiful. It's like a whole different way. It's fucking tops. <laughs> Ten minutes later. We're at the bottom of it. Like it's a lot further up that we could have gone, but that would have been like an hour bus. And we're already here for like two hours because we have a return ticket and we have to go back. Yeah. So this is basically like Como. It's just houses on houses. You can walk up along it a little bit. I can't believe when you're not here and this darkness appears. Let's test out how good the zoom is on that. Do you see that red yoke? That's literally going all the way from here. Oh, there's another one there going all the way up. It's nuts. You never lived here and I never found what I thought I did. Jeez, these waves are... <laughs> these waves are going nuts. <laughs> Me and Toya took many pictures here. <laughs> if you want to check them out, go follow both our Instagrams. But now let's go back to the hotel. Yeah. Here we are, home sweet home. She's taking her shoes off. It's been a long day. <laughs> Delivery. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard of a delivery driver coming into your hotel, but you just look kinda hot. Let's hope your boyfriend doesn't find out. <laughs> Man, let me fast forward this shit. Just show me the old Wild West food you ordered from Just D and stop this role play shit. Those are chips. Those are pretty small chips. This is more more. Look at that. That's tiny. Yeah, it's not that big, is it? <laughs> Wait, what's up with italy having small portions like <laughs> what does this happen and then that's the thing for the nachos is yeah. it yeah oh fuck i can't believe you've done this well it's good we have a load of snacks this is small as hell so bye get out of here man shit look at all the goodies we're leaving behind <laughs> lights must be turned off we gotta go come on take my hand just take my hand let's go <laughs> Why was this 12 year old? <laughs> 